Where's my damn money? This case settled months ago. I don't understand. Where's my damn money? You want to know why this client said that? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law in the state of New York. I'm shooting video today here in beautiful Boulder, Colorado. I'm visiting my daughter here in college and my wife and she are out shopping. So I have a few minutes to share this great information with you. So now, my client's case settled many, many months ago. It was a wrongful death matter. And now we had to go through the process of submitting papers to a court known as the surrogate's court. And that's the court that's in charge of distributing the money to the survivors of the person who died. The surrogate's court has a specific process of a series of papers that we have to provide to them. And every single thing has to be dotted and crossed correctly and done exactly the way that they say it is. And if it's not, they're going to send the papers back and say, do it all over again. And doing that can take many weeks, in fact, months in order to happen. And now, only after all that documentation is submitted into the court, assuming, by the way, all the family members agree with how the money is to be distributed, only then can the court sign off on this order, which now designates how the money is distributed to the surviving family members. So when my client said to me, where's my damn money? I've been waiting months for the settlement to be finished. Guess what? That's exactly what I told her. I said, listen, the paperwork was submitted to the surrogate's court. We are now waiting for them to go through to evaluate whether all the paperwork is complete and appropriate. And if it is, they will then sign off. If it's not, they will send it back to us. And unfortunately, we can't control what the surrogate's court does because we are prohibited by law from taking that settlement money, which is now sitting in our attorney trust account known as an escrow account, waiting for that court order. And we can't do anything with that settlement money until the surrogate's court comes in, gives us that order, and now we have the legal authority to go ahead and distribute that money the way that it's supposed to go according to that order. So why do I share this interesting story with you? I share it with you just to give you a sense of what goes on, especially in a wrongful death case, where even though we have settled the case, it's often going to take many months before we're actually able to get that order from the surrogate's court, which now allows us and permits us to go ahead and distribute that money to you and your family. You know, I realize you're watching this because you have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter happened in New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. This is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a great day.